this might end up being a huge mistake. Can you hear him clunking in there? Oh my gosh. Hello my friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are cleaning some shoes. I know, I know, totally a super weird and random YouTube video, but something has changed within me and I am getting super picky about things that uh, are gross. So today we are trying something. It might completely ruin these shoes, but uh, that's okay. I'm willing to experiment for your sake and for mine so I can learn in the future. But I have some shoes that are just absolutely disgusting and uh, need to be washed bad. So that is what we are doing today. And uh, those of you that might be watching this be like, please don't put them in the washing machine. Well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're putting them in the washing machine. Uh, I washed my Hey Dudes in the washing machine and they came out completely fine. Um, I just do an air dry and uh, they probably need washed again in the future. But uh, these are my dudes and they are absolutely fine um, after being in the wash. Nothing was torn, no seams are broken. They're just dirty again. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we're going to try that with some other shoes and, uh, hopefully they come out good. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Okay. So we've got six pairs of shoes that we're going to be throwing in the washing machine today, starting out with these slides from Old Navy. Here's what they look like now. Uh, super gross. So those are going in. Uh, second pair is this pair of sandals that have literally been through so much they've been through a hiking trip they've been through um the lake a few times and they're just really gross so in those go <laughs> third pair is this um cheetah print pair they smell horrendous so they're going in because they're just gross fourth these ones i'm a bit concerned about but um it's for testing purposes and uh we're gonna test it. So I have this pair of slip-ons from UGG and it has fur at the back. That's the only thing I'm really concerned about um, and maybe the side here. So uh, hopefully that goes well. And then the last pair is this rainbow tie-dye pair. Uh, I'm not sure where these are from. I got these from my sister, but um, as you can tell, they're just dirty and gross. The inside's gross. So um, in those go and uh, we will see. I'm sorry if you can hear the cats in the background. They're a bit dramatic. So um, I want to show off my little laundry pod holder. Um, I got this from Target. This is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Can you see my little laundry pods in there? It's so cute. And uh, if you're wondering what uh, detergent I use, we're just using the Tide Plus Power Pods Ultra with Oxy Odor Eliminators. And um, I was using Gain, but Jarrett broke out in... A rash from Gain, so we had to switch to Tide, which is a brand that he knows he does not break out from. So Tide it is, still getting over the transition, but um, Tide Pods it is. So I think I'm just going to do one Tide Pod. I think one will be enough. Please excuse my laundry that I just took out. But um, I think one will be enough. Fingers crossed. So uh, here we go. In you go. And uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> so here are the settings that I'm going to go with. Just normal water hardness, warm temperature, extra heavy soil level just because, and then max extract for the spin. Um, fingers crossed this go well. Here we go. There's no turning back now. <laughs> here we go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm actually really nervous. Uh, but, uh, I guess we'll see in, uh, a few hours when I get back from work. This might end up being a huge mistake. Can you hear him clunking in there? Oh my gosh. You're getting all nice and sexy. <laughs> so I'm back at work where we just ate and all I can think about is <laughs> I didn't mess up my shoes. Right now, I'm packing up to go home for the day, and the shoes should be done. Also, what is this frizz? It's really humid today, so my hair is like, no thanks. 
So packing up my bag, gotta clock out, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, friends, here we are. They're done. And it's time to see if I made a big mistake. <laughs> Guys, they all made it. Those are looking rough than they did before, but it's just because I know that this part is um, wet. <laughs> And uh, when it dries, it should go back to that color. But they all made it through. Here are the cheetah ones. Uh, the soles are pretty much clean except for the bottoms, which, oh well, no one sees the bottoms. But they look a lot better than they did before. These were the ones I was really worried about not making it through. And they did. And it looks like it got all of the gross stuff off the top of the shoes. So, well, it looks like it got a little bit beat up there. Who knows? That might have been there already. These shoes are kind of old. But, regardless, they're still together. Okay. Well, okay. These shoes definitely did get a little bit beat up. But, they're still together. Uh, as for the rainbow ones, these ones were the nastiest ones that I threw in, and they came out really clean. These ones were really dirty. Like I said, they had been through lakes and hiking, and they look really clean now. So, I am super excited. And then again, I'll show you these ones. These ones are super damp. So the, these ones retained water a lot. But yeah, so they made it through and they all look really good. So I would say that this was a success. Um, now we will just wait to see how long it takes them to dry and uh, go from there. I will leave them out overnight and um, hopefully they will be mostly dry. Um, I need one of these pairs for tomorrow, so hopefully, uh, they dry out by then. Um, but overall, I would say that this was a huge success. I just realized I have a marker on my wall. I wonder how long it's been there. Today, I've got one of the pairs of shoes on. Wow, that zoomed in way too much. I've got one of the pairs of shoes on today. Look how bright and clean and shiny they look. They almost look brand new. Show them to you outside too. It looks so good. So they all dried great. Uh, I was a little nervous because I was afraid that some of them shrunk, but they didn't. Uh, I put a pair on, I'm like, oh my gosh, these are tight. But then after I wore them for a second, it was just because, you know, they had just curled up a little bit from drying. So they are a thousand percent fine. Every single pair came out fine. The uh, red Uggs did come out a little bit faded, but that's okay. They're an old pair of shoes, and I was just doing it for testing purposes. But they all came out great. So this process was most definitely successful. So with that being said, I think it's time for this video to come to an end. If you liked today's video, please, please, if you would, give me a big old thumbs up. Also, while you're down there, leave me a comment down below if you'd like to see me test other stuff like this or if you'd like to see other cleaning videos. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you never miss whenever I upload another video. I'm so glad to be back and uploading and uh, here is to building up my confidence again and uh, just doing what makes me happy. So I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Bye.